Hello people of YouTube, Deepak here again, uh, once again in the DCS UH1 Huey. Uh, today I'm going to demonstrate an auto rotation. Now this is the procedure that you use in the event of an engine failure in a helicopter. Um, the, the rotor system and the transmission are designed so that the rotor will continue to spin in the event of an engine failure, although of course your rotor RPM is going to start to decay quite quickly. So what do you do? Well, the moment you notice an engine failure, you drop your collective all the way down to zero and allow the, the helicopter to enter a descent. Now, during the descent, the airflow rushing up through the rotors will spin them uh, and will allow you to maintain rotor RPM and so maintain control of the helicopter. Now, there's a, a particular speed, forward velocity that is, at which you uh, basically extend this glide for as long as possible. It's the, the sort of safe auto-rotation speed. And in the Huey, that is 65 to 77 knots. So we're going to want to maintain our forward velocity within that range. Um, now, I'm going to give this a go just now. Uh, this will be a few attempts that I've made at this, some successful, some not. Hopefully this one goes well. Uh, by the way, I'm going to simulate an engine failure by simply turning off the fuel pump. Okay, let's go. I'm going to start off actually by building up a little bit of forward speed because uh, your success in an auto rotation is, is largely dictated by the speed and altitude you have when you start. Okay, that's about right. I'm going to hit the switch now. Okay, fuel pump is off, engine just failed, I'm dropping the collective, and I want to control my forward velocity just using the cyclic pitch, which I'm doing now. You have to be careful that you don't end up overspeeding the rotor, uh, so you want to keep an eye on that at the same time. Here we are, we're coming down quite nicely. Now before touchdown I'm going to want to flare and at the same time increase uh, collective up from the, the zero position it's currently in. This will allow me to arrest my descent and hopefully land quite gently. Let's see how this goes. Okay, almost the moment of truth. Starting to flare, increasing collective. That was not bad. That was not bad at all. Let's cut that audio. And inspect the aircraft from the outside, and I do not see any damage. I think I brought that down not too badly. So, there you go. Successful auto-rotation onto the runway. See you later.